So, Ross, obviously last time we spoke, you said about, you know, you wanted that extra bit of time with the boys in training and stuff, and as a result of the postponement on Tuesday, you've, you've had a bit more extra time. So, so how's that gone? Yeah, we've, we've had, obviously, a lot, a lot more extra time than we'd anticipated, really. So, like, whereas, obviously, didn't play Tuesday, we got an opportunity to train Wednesday, uh, Thursday and Friday, so, so a lot more pitch time. So, to, to, I guess, I'm not going to use excuses, but it takes away that sort of, uh, we haven't had the pitch, but the, the time to do things on the pitch. So, so we've had a, a bit more time to prepare for Maidenhead than, than we would have got had we played against Dagenham. Um, obviously, that will come come later, and, and and that might congest things a little bit down the line. But uh, yeah, to give us more time to prepare, which is never a, never a bad thing, um, and and get the boys ready. So so a little bit more time to sort of implement some of our ideas. But like we've been here like what four weeks, so so um, ha ha more t more time is needed for whatever it looks like moving forward. But yeah, you can't you can't you can't disagree or be annoyed with having more pitch time. As you kind of alluded to there, though, obviously it's it's better to be out on the pitch, out, out in the games, and get that you know match fitness and sharpness up, isn't it? So that so that will be a miss. Yeah, of course. And we, like we went from playing four games in ten days to I think we've played in ten days. So so like it's 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 um, it isn't ideal that that we go in a, in a mid head not not off the back of it. But then we look at positive. Like what's the positives? Like obviously our last game um, was was a defeat. We need to bounce back quick. That's long in the memory. That's long gone now. Uh, now there's a focus on Maidenhead. Maidenhead are a good side. Um, they're well organised. Like like the heart to beat. They're they're a very non-league, uh, very national, good national league side. So like it'll be a real tough, challenging game, and one we'll have to be absolutely at it with, um, like every other game in this league. Um, and it'll be a good experience in terms for me and James. Uh, but obviously, like we we want to be at it, and we want to we want to we want to show a bit of fight on, on what is a uh, an important weekend for the area in terms of it being Remembrance Weekend. So. We want to be at it, and we want to be at it for the fans, and we want to show that again that aggression that we've had in, in, in I say four games and the three games before hasn't hasn't lost and that mentality hasn't gone anywhere, and, and we've still got it really. I mean, looking at the squad, obviously you've you've come in from the academy, so we've seen Alex McAllister in, in with the squad a few times, um, and we let, we can take this moment to speak about a few of the lads on loan. Obviously, Maxwell Mullins, Keen Anderson, Ben Delacy Turner, a, a few of the names that spring to mind. So, you, you know, can you give us an update on any of those loans? Yeah, so like obviously uh, you've got Ben at Hampton and Richmond, Ben Schroll, you've got Keane and Maxwell are both at, both at Leatherhead doing really well. Like Keane, Keane and Ma I think Maxwell played full game last week and Keane, Keane has been playing non-stop really. So like, and then you've got Ben, Delacy, who is it, uh, Wingate and Finchley, so, which is set three teams. So they're all doing really well. Uh, they're all getting uh, good experience in terms of senior football. Um, they'll, 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 I'm sure, again, like f from my perspective, there'll be opportunities. Like uh, Ale Alex will likely be in and around it tomorrow. So like um, there'll be opportunities that for the boys, no doubt, and I'm sure that the academy is in, in such a good place. There'll be there'll be a, a conveyor belt of players coming through, and loads more opportunities for boys for for for, for the next manager or for whatever it looks like moving forward. Uh, you spoke earlier about you know it being a poignant weekend for the area. Is is you know it's with with us at the ebb for it. It's always a nice weekend to to pay our respects. So it'll be good to put a performance in for that. Way. And that's the most important thing. And that is like um, obviously results are. Was also a part part of what we want to get, and 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 the three and four was amazing, and and we we absolutely want to make it four and five, um, but we make it four and five by playing well first and foremost, and um, you can't win them all, um, but you can play well and, and not win them all. Um, it's but like, it's important. We know that we bounce back, and it's important that we're, this weekend, like I said, desire, fight, uh, pressing. Uh, playing the game in the right areas of the pitch, they're they're all so so important in how we want to play, and it's important that we show that on, on Saturday like we did against York in our last and only home game. It's important that we show that. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.